when we look at the new the new teachers, as I suppose we'll be talking about the young teachers, but that's not always the case. But if we talk about young uh, recent graduates who are coming into education, then they will be coming with a proactive online uh, identity, and they, they are the the Facebook generation, and they are used to posting images and posting comments. And I wouldn't say that the evidence that we see, and and, and this isn't to cast aspersions or negative comments about teacher training because we you know we don't see what what people do within those courses but the end result is is that we do feel and we see evidence of young people coming into into our schools uh, on the personal level with inappropriate co comments and, and, and content which is going to do their profession their professional progress no good at all uh, but equally so, on the positive side, they are coming saying, this is how I communicate and I want my children to be able to, to communicate too. And so they, they, they see, why wouldn't they share their mobile phone number so that if the kids are, are, are challenged by the activities, they can, they can contact them in the evening or by text or, or, or to, to add them as friends as Facebook. And, and so we have a kind of cultural challenge there to say, well, actually, you do need to separate, as I did when I was a teacher 20 years ago, is to say, well, actually, my, my personal life is separate and if I go allowing pupils to know my, 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 my favorite films and my, my favorite activities and my favorite food they may use that against me and as a d distraction in my lessons and want to talk about that rather than doing the work and so we need to be man mindful how we, we manage that information how much information we share